Our next bout of the evening turns our attention to the heavyweights. This one's scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this battle of the heavyweights is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing at my right and fighting out of the black corner. This is his first chance to step onto the world stage, but he brings with him a professional record of 24 wins with three losses, one draw, and four career knockouts. He stands six feet two inches tall, 1.88 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 302.7 pounds, 137.3 kilos. Fighting out of Morocco, here is Nabil the Tank Kacha! His opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the wide corner, trained in Muay Thai and kickboxing, carries a 75% career knockout ratio with him to the ring. His professional record, 16 wins with six losses. 12 of those 16 wins have come by way of knockout. He'll make his debut tonight. At six feet, three inches tall, 1.93 meters, he weighed in at 246 and one half pounds, 111.8 kilos. Fighting out of Estonia, here is Uku Yuyenna. And the referee in charge of this bout, Jan Frana. Fighters, good middle. Shake your hands if you want. Okay, guys, listen my comments. Respect rules. Good luck. Back to the corners. Luku Urendal and Nabil Kabab. I don't know, Joe. Just look at it. You've been talking to Just this. look at it, Urendal. I know. I just. He says it, the only times he loses is because fighters run from him. Ooh. He says if Kabob stands there and trades with him, I'll knock his ass out. This is why he said he likes this fight, because he knows Kahab won't move back. But the 22-year-old just confident sitting against this big power puncher. Former weightlifter was Urendal, spent some time in jail, decided when he got out he was going to turn his life around and become a heavyweight champ. He's 34, says he can do it by the age of 36. Needs a win here for sure. Nice. Those combinations he likes. Good forward pressure from Kahab. Kahab again. Yeah, good speed combinations, mixing uppercuts. A oh, big knee from the Estonian, two of them. No push. He's trying to push the big fella back. Yeah, and you know SB Jim is great with their level changes of punching and attacking the body. And good uppercuts as well. Nice little feint, too. Kachab trains with Donaghy Abena, Melvin Manhoof, Jafar Wildness, Nordi Mehedin. He's in there with some big boys. I forgot about Bonner Hari, you know? Just some big boys for him. Urindal caught in the corner. Doesn't seem to have any idea how to get out. Yeah, Urindal in a pre-fight interview says, Kahab is very good at putting his weight on you, trying to wear you out. He just found an overhand right. Look at these knees. My word. Kahab just walking through them, putting his elbow down. Yurindal needs to be take? careful, but Yurindal's got to be careful. He doesn't need the elbow. That's how you kind of blow up your knees. It's happened many times to, to fighters. Good work rate for the Moroccan. And Yurindal right now is getting a lesson, Joe. Oh, with the body shot, too, from Kahab. I think he's hurt the big... Estonian may be hurt in the corner. He's trying to push his way out. Yeah, where he gassed himself out early with those big power punches. And there's that Kahab leaning his weight on you and then just slamming body punches, uppercuts. There's a knee. He can jump too. Oh, you can see Yarendal taking big breaths now. When you're carrying that much muscle, it's got to be hard for your cardio. Kahab just laying on you, pressing on you, wearing you out. Don't judge a book by its cover, that's for sure. The guy with the killer body is getting killed by the guy with the not-so-killer body. Yeah. 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 
I'm surprised at just how gassed your doll already looks and how few ideas he has. Yeah, he's it's push and knee. Hi. I mean, I think that's because Kahab's doing a good job laying on him, not giving him space. So there is Uku Urendal. He was uh, in track and field in his teenage years, and then won the 2014 World Amateur Thai Boxing Championship. He's trained with Sergei Maslavoyev, who we'll see later tonight in our title match. We have his opponent here, Nabil Kahab, nicknamed the Tank. Signature strike to low kicks, born and raised in the Netherlands. He's just doing a great job today at pressuring, mixing his levels, landing uppercuts, chopping legs. Very impressive start for the 22-year-old Moroccan. Glory royalty here tonight. Alex Pereira, the former two-belt champion, current UFC champ, and there's Antonio Plazabat. The glory number one heavyweight. And then, yeah, our welterweight champ, our new one, Andy Semelier, sitting in there. Hi, Joe's. Oscar. Oscar. Semelier beating Wait a Nabayev recently. Second round, fight. Round two. What's Urendal going to do differently? I think Urendal's got like 10, 15 seconds to try to let some punches off, and Kahab's right in your face. Oh, the punch blocked by the ropes. Already, you can see how Kahab lays on you. He puts his arm open and he yeah. just presses his chest on you. Even all this pushing Stop. that Urendal's doing, Stop. that's fatiguing. You're pushing 300 pounds. It's a 300 pound bench press. Don't push. Well, we saw his trainer in the gym, and if his trainer's any indication, a 300 pound bench press shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I shared some weightlifting tricks with his trainer, teaching me about giant sets. Try to get me as big as Urendal. Like Shahab levels Big. better skill wise. Oh, yeah, just more options, Stay good big. combinations. I'm impressed with the speed, and he puts his hands together with angle changes, level changing, uses feints. 96 landed strikes for Kachab. Oh, look at yeah. this a switch high kick from the 300 pounder. But watch him, the way he faints, he bounces in, makes Urendal guess and bounces, and then he finds his way in. Looked like he bit his shoulder there. I was bit. watching that, I'm watching that mouth. That trap looks very scrum. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of meat <laughs> to chew meat on. There. Nice piece of steak, but he found right, it right, right in. Connects. Well, Joe, what is Urendal? I mean, it's, there's so many things he could be doing, but considering his perhaps limited skill level, what would you tell him to do? Well, I think it's just finding a single counter shot at this point. So almost after, right after Kahab throws, he has to counter right back. So he kind of waits here. Now he's got to throw, especially when he throws maybe that lead uppercut, maybe throw a right hook off of that. But it's all about a single counter shot now. Wait till Kahab throws and then launch the counter. Best strategy when you're tired. Oh, now he's barking at him. <laughs> There's a left hook by Urendal. Stop. Step back. Well, Step not back. a very aesthetically Stop. pleasing contest. Still slugging some good punches. Yeah, the left hook is the, the money shot for Urendal. This is where he can kind of counter off, maybe with a right hook. If I'm Urendal, I'm going to like that right hook, just based on the way Kahab throws that left hand. Corner calling it forward. Put to McGinn. Kahab's brother in the corner yelling at him to come Stop. forward. Stop. See there, Yerndell got his arm stuck in the ropes there for a split second, but Kahab continually pressuring, throwing that scissor kick. Just look at him fainting, bouncing outside of punches, kind of using sharp eyes, good combinations, attacking the body, going back upstairs. Just mixing things up, taking little angles to find those punches. Doing a lot of good things for a big guy that we see in young, like small fighters. 
Glory 84 headed your way March 11th live from the Top Sports Center in Rotterdam. It's champ versus champ as Petch, the featherweight champion, goes up to lightweight to challenge to Johnny Vez Tati. Incredible. Also featured light heavyweights Tariq Kababez and Philippe Micheletti. Tickets on sale now. Go to glorykickboxing.com. Keep in mind, Chabab, Chabab, excuse me, only four knockouts in his 24 wins. Are you going to push him here if you're his corner to try and get one? I think it's going to come through volume. yerendal has been sitting in the corner, so I think they just want to see him mix levels and maybe get a nice finish here. Yeah, they say that boxing a lot of times. If you got a opponent that's just not going to go down, just hit him with a bunch of flurries and hope the referee steps in. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times it's Make. not the one shot that'll knock Stay you out. Make. You put three or four shots in. There's right. that scissor kick again. Sharp eyes from Kahab, moving his head back, slipping out, fainting his way in again. Just a better boxer, better kickboxer. Yep. Mixing his strikes well, the way he sets things up, counters, mixes angles, levels. Now chopping the leg, that's definitely what his corners wanted. Yeah, and Urendal is basically just throwing a wide bomb, hoping it lands. Yeah, if, I'm, if I am Kahab, I am agreeing with the corner of him. He's, like, he's got to chop those legs. Urendal hasn't really blocked him, so going punch to low kick combination would be good for him. Well, he's thinking, hey, every punch I throw pretty much lands. Come on, with some good uppercuts in these close range fighting attacks. Break! Stop, step back, no push. Jahab said, quote, my opponent is too sloppy. He's got no skill. I will pick him apart. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, pretty good. I mean, he's got a lot of power here in Dallas, especially in that first round, but Rob was accurate. Coming forward, picking him apart. Definitely the better kickboxer, like you said. No holding. I still wouldn't want to meet Urendal in a dark alley. <laughs> you still haven't changed your mind <laughs> yeah, on no. that? Yeah, good idea for you. I'd recommend yeah. that. Am I okay to stay in the... Yeah, you can alley? stay there. You can stay there. All right, thank you. Just shell up for the first 30 <laughs> seconds. Oh! 30 seconds to go! And Mike Tyson, right uppercut, right hook. That's That's right hand scored a little bit there from Urendal. He's, he's still got a hope and a prayer. Ooh. Oh, boy. Ooh. He's trying everything he can now with 10 seconds to go. Break. And that will do it. An impressive display of kickboxing skill and moxie from Nabil Kasha. This was his glory debut, and it appears to be an easy win for the tank. The decision when we return to Essen, Germany.
We welcome you back to Germany, and we saw a clinic from big Nabil Kachov. Yeah, Nabil did a great job pressuring, getting on the inside, and wearing out that big power of Urindal. And inside, mixing the body, good uppercuts, good overhand combinations, chopping in big low kicks as well. But very impressive from an over 300 pounder to be able to kind of set his combinations, stay calm, pick his shots. I mean, really went for the knockout. He was trying. He did everything he could to kind of sit on his punches and do all the right things. But you can definitely see the 22-year-old has some work to do, but definitely, a, I'd say, a, a very good start to his glory career. Here are the final statistics. Round one, Cha, 160, oh, excuse me, that's total punches, 161 to 191. He landed, what, well over double the amount of total strikes than Urindal. Now round one, two, and three strikes thrown per minute. Round one came out blazing, slowed down, and it was actually Urindal who threw more punches in the third per minute. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes all three rounds, and we go to the judges' scorecard. All five of our ringside judges see the bout and score the bout the same. 30-27, a unanimous decision, all for your winner, Nabi! I've won, I won a uh, unanimous decision, they call it. Yeah. So uh, it was good. But it has to be better. It has to be better. I have, uh, I didn't listen good to my coach Said. So uh, next time, inshallah. You came into our pre-fight interview saying, I know he's big, he's strong. I'm gonna pick him apart. I'm a better kickboxer. Were you happy with you, your performance technically? Uh, technically, yes, but I have to uh, work a little bit much more on the leg. Because if you give him six, seven low kicks, then he, he's going to feel it. You come from a fantastic gym and SB Gym. Your training partners preparing for this. Give me your thoughts on how these guys helped you prepare okay. for tonight. Uh, sorry, can you ask? You're, the guys you train with, the Mahadins, the Badr Haris, how much did they help you prepare for tonight? Good. We had a training camp in, uh, in Thailand with Donaghy. He's uh, going to fight for the title. It was crazy, man. Said, uh, Said, uh, give us... Uh, a, a lesson. All right, well, let's hear for your winner one more time, Nabil Kahab. They love the tank here in Germany. And he looked pretty darn good tonight, said he wasn't completely happy with his performance, but a unanimous decision. All five judges gave it to him. And we're glad the ropes were able to support the 300 pounder. So congratulations to the tank in his glory debut. Later tonight, our...